Welcome to my channel, my name is Priska, and if you enjoy cultivating your personal style, then you're going to love it here. Today you'll discover how to organize your spring wardrobe to improve your personal style and how to keep it organized. Now, honestly, this is how my closet looks 99% of the time. So this isn't going to be one of those dramatic reorganization videos that starts with a very messy closet and ends with something heavenly. Because when I watch those videos, I just think, if your systems were so good, then why did you start with a messy closet? But in this online world, it can seem fake that someone would be this tidy. So let me be clear, I am not fake. I'm a bit neurotic. I'm kidding. I'm not, but anyway, I do have excellent systems to share with you that will help you stay organized. So if you're tired of dealing with clutter and chaos every time you open your closet doors, then this video is for you. I'll start with my hanging clothes, shoes, and accessories, and I'll even show you the wardrobe tools that I use that help me to stay organized, including binder clips. If you're curious, stay tuned. Now the first thing I want to do is to really zoom into the hanging clothes because this to me is the most exciting part. This is the thing that makes the most impact when I walk into my closet in the mornings to get dressed. It makes me feel so special and I think if you could start your morning with little things that make you feel special, you're golden for the rest of the day. Now, I organize my wardrobe by color. It is not the right decision for everybody. In fact, when I used to work a corporate job, I would have my Monday through Friday workday outfits, my weekend clothes, beach wear, Sunday morning outfits, evening outfits. I had so many sub wardrobes within my one wardrobe that I organized by activity, and that just helped me to not filter through beach wear or weekend wear when I was trying to get ready on a work day. But now that I work from home and I have a very homogenous lifestyle, I can wear whatever I want, whatever I want. I just organize everything by color because typically in the mornings I have a color mood. Like today I was feeling a little bit rosy. Um, some days I wanna feel more dramatic, so I'm gonna go for maybe a cobalt blue or a fuchsia. That's why I like to organize by color. On top of that, I tend to wear more tonal outfits, either a top and bottom that's similar in color or a dress that's obviously all one color. So this is the right decision for this stage in my life. So before you copy my system or anyone else's, really think through, does this serve your lifestyle? And if you're not sure, just take some of these tips, play around with it and see if it serves you. And if not, then tailor it to your needs. So I'm going to start with my pink clothing. This is my favorite category of clothing. If you're a subscriber, this is old news. Things are sort of color organized. I'm not so neurotic that I need things to be exactly in the right order. I just kind of group it by basic colors. So starting with some of my pink clothing. This is one of my spring dresses and I have a lot of spaghetti strap and tank top dresses and tops. And I cannot recommend velvet hangers enough. There's a reason why the internet loves them. They just keep things on the hanger. I'm never having to pick my clothes up off the floor because they dropped off of those shiny plastic hangers. And these in particular have a little notch for these little straps, which is very helpful. Thank you to the woman who designed this. You're brilliant. Okay, ruched tops. I wear a lot of ruched tops and dresses. They're such an easy way to cinch the bodice without that tight constrictive feeling of just like a really tight tailored top. And if you're not sure what ruching is, here it is. It's the way that it's sewn. So you're actually taking a lot of fabric, which allows for stretch and cinching it in. But this is what happens. When you wear this, it's nice and fitted. And when you breathe, it stretches with you. So that's great. I like this way more than a very tight top because I like to breathe and stuff. Speaking of ruching, the reason I use binder clips is a lot of times for ruched tops and dresses that are a little bit more heavy. This is a dress that I bought last spring and it's linen, it's lined, and it's ruched. So it's a little bit heavy. And because of that, I started noticing that when I wore this dress, it was getting like lower and lower on the bust line because the sleeves were getting stretched out from the hanging. So I just took this little binder clip and put it on the ruched part of the dress. Am I gonna be able to do this? Yeah, we'll do this. <laughs> 
and it takes the weight off of the shoulders which have stretch in them and once you ruin stretch it's ruined so you really want to be cautious about stretch pieces that you're not hanging them in a way that's going to damage them and just like that it stays hung up and this is how I keep this piece intact. The other way that I use binder clips is for this type of wrap top, which if I took this little binder clip off, it would kind of just fall apart because the wrap needs to kind of sit at the waist and there's no waist on a hanger, obviously. So I just take a binder clip and pin it the way that it's supposed to lay on my body. and it helps the garment just hold its integrity while it's in the closet. So this is going to help you not only stay organized, but keep your pieces in better condition for longer. I like to wear my pieces for hopefully five to 10 years, and that means we need to take really good care of the pieces. So anytime you have a garment that's losing its integrity by the way it's being hung on the hanger, just add a binder clip to kind of place it back to how it's supposed to look on the body. These are the hangers that I've used for several years and they don't match the velvet hangers, the black velvet hangers, but they work really, really, really well for me. So I have not switched to something that matches, but if you have any suggestions for black pant hangers that match and work really well, then let me know down in the comments. My neurotic self thinks your neurotic self. These are also the hangers that I use if I have delicate straps like this spaghetti strap dress. And the reason why is because I have so many times broken these thin little spaghetti straps off of the dress. So I just try to use more caution when I'm hanging it. And this allows it to drape, it keeps it from being wrinkled, and it preserves the integrity of the straps. The final piece of my hanging wardrobe I want to look at are jeans and pants. It seems like there are a million ways that you can hang up your jeans or fold your jeans. The Marie Kondo method works really well, but personally I absolutely despise having to steam my jeans. Like they're mostly cotton. They should be wrinkle free if you hang them correctly. So that's why I keep mine hung up. One thing I do like to do is kind of keep all of these crystal hangers in the same area. So right here I have navy, light blue, black. These aren't all part of the same color area, but I meld the areas together with these hangers. It just looks better to me to have them grouped together. That's all of my hanging clothing and one thing to know is that if it's harder for you to keep up with hanging clothing and to keep it organized, then just take some of those pieces and put it in your drawers. Whatever system and tips that you implement, make sure that it works really well for the way that you operate and that'll help you to stay organized. Now that we're done with the hanging clothes, I want to show you how I keep my accessories. So here are all of my handbags. Some of them you actually can't see. These are the handbags that I wear pretty regularly. I also keep one more on my dresser that's like the one that I'm wearing. I don't swap out handbags every single day, probably every few days or if the outfit really calls for it. So maybe twice a week I swap handbags. I keep the ones I use most often in easy reach. This is the handbag I'll be wearing most through summer and just spotting it there helps me when I'm putting together the outfit. There's also a hidden area for bags. Let me show you. If you've been with me long enough, then you've seen these bins for a very long time. I'm not sure if I've ever revealed the contents, but this is how I keep the rest of my bags that wouldn't stand up very well on the shelf back there. This isn't just a throw it in there kind of bin. I do like to keep the structure of my handbags lasting longer and looking pristine by lining them upwards. And that's really going to help with longevity, especially if you're buying quality pieces, you might as well take care of them. So this is where I keep all my clutches and some of the bags that I just don't wear as regularly. Now this is a bit of a junk drawer. I shouldn't say that. It's a throw it in there kind of bin. So I have 
my headband stack that I just haven't really been wearing headbands a lot lately. So that's why they're in here instead of displayed on my dresser. I also have a fascinator that I wore last year. I'm not sure if I'll ever wear it again. I just haven't parted ways yet. I have a lint roller, sunglasses case. I also have some repair items for clothing, including my sewing kit and oh, some of my hat bands. So this is kind of like a just throw it in there and forget about it kind of area. But I think it's really helpful with like day to day activities when you just have like trinkets and things that you don't want to create a whole area for. And it's just easier to like leave it in this bin and it looks nice at the top of the closet. It doesn't look like a catch all. So I recommend these. The last little area that I keep accessories is tucked away. Right back here is where I keep my belts. That was a bit heavy. <laughs> this is just a little belt hanger I picked up, maybe online, maybe at a store, I can't remember, but I'll link something similar down below. This really is a great tool. I have a lot of belts and I've tried the wrapping it up and putting it in a drawer kind of situation, but it tends to hold that wrap that you have and I like them to lay flat. So this works really well for me. I also keep my measuring tape on here and one handbag actually keep on here and that's because this bag I had to steam the wrinkles out of. I never want to do that again. So just by hanging it up, it allows it to stay unwrinkled. And this has been a helpful tool to help me to stay organized. Shoes are another area of my closet that are very simple. All I do is keep mine at the base of the closet and it looks really cute. It goes with my color scheme <laughs> with my clothes and bonus, it helps me not to have too many shoes. Whenever the width of my closet starts to not fit all my shoes, I know I probably have more shoes than I'm actually wearing and it's time to declutter. So while I've used shoe racks and even a shoe case at a couple of different points in my life when I was shopping way too much, <laughs> this simple system works well for how I wanna stay organized and clutter free now. I know a lot of people say they're a big fan of my hat wall. I kind of just created this um, on a whim. I thought the arch looked good and added a little bit more roundness to all of these square hard shapes with my dresser. But I have a very complex system when it comes to how I've hung these hats. So here it goes. It's a nail. It's a nail. That's it, it's a nail. People who are going to try to sell you special hat wall hooks are going to tell you that this damages your hats, but I've had these hats for a few years and I have no damage. They're just not that weighty, so it doesn't pull on the nail head. And I like that I can take it out and just patch it up when I want to change up the hat wall. Voila! Moving on to some more accessories. This is how I store all of my jewelry. Let me pull you closer. Storing jewelry and accessories is again something that's kind of specific to how you use your pieces. It's going to take some inspiration from other people and some finagling to find the system that works best for you. And as your lifestyle changes, that's going to change as well. Now I'm trying to get more into wearing bolder accessories. So I like having mine all displayed here. So it's a visual cue to incorporate that into my outfits. This is how I've stored my statement jewelry. I really like this valet tray. I think I get it off of Amazon, so I'll link it down below. Um, this helps me to stay organized. Like you can see that the pieces are individually sorted and I do have it sorted by color category, of course. So that's how I keep my statement jewelry. And then of course I have my statement earrings. These are all my dangly earrings that wouldn't fit in my fine jewelry case. This was a gift on my 13th birthday 
which means that I've had this for 21 years. I don't think I have anything in my life that's as old as this. So this has been really special to me, has definitely seen a lot of renditions of what I consider cute jewelry, <laughs> but it has my name engraved on it. It's been a very special piece. This is from Things Remembered at the mall and it's wood, it's beautiful. I polish it every once in a while. It has this lovely mirror and, oh. <laughs> And this is how I keep my finer jewelry. And the bottom just kind of tends to be a catch-all area as well. So I've got a tag in here from something I recently took the tag off of, but I want to remember the wash instructions. I have fearless tape to keep tank tops in place. I've got some... <laughs> I've got some extra binder clips. I've got some jewelry that I don't really wear that often, but it is fine. So this is just kind of a catch-all area as well. It works well for my system. Lastly, I have my sunglasses. Now, I live in Florida and I am out and about running errands during the middle of the day, so I'm wearing sunglasses most days. That's why I like to keep mine displayed here. These are also not the most expensive sunglasses. If you have several hundred dollar sunglasses, then you'll probably want to store them in a container so they don't get scratched or anything. But this is just a jewelry organizer that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it's been really helpful. I've had several renditions. I've put necklaces on here and the sunglasses just like, they fit there really well. It keeps them visually in my mind. So I'm remembering as I'm getting dressed, Pick up a pair of sunglasses. You're going to need it when you go outside. This may not be the organization tool for everybody, but it's been very useful for me for the last couple of years. I would recommend it if you are interested in it. The last thing I wanna show you are how I keep my folded clothes so that they stay looking organized. My secret is using drawer divider tools. So I bought a three pack of these little dividers. There's one for bras, there's one for underwear, and there's one that's kind of miscellaneous I've been using for sports bras. Like, look how organized this is. And it's so easy because I can see everything that I have, pull just what I need, and then replace it when I wash it. This is what helps me to stay organized because it's a system that works and it's easy to keep up with. So this is my workout drawer area. I have my sports bras, I have my hats, and then I have my workout tops. And these workout tops, I just fold in half and it helps them to not be so wrinkled when I go to wear them. Next, I have my leggings, and this is where I do follow the Comrie method. It's just folding them up and then stacking them vertically so you can see each of the different pieces and patterns that you have. And even though this does leave wrinkles, because they're all stretchy leggings, they don't show any wrinkles once you put them on. So it works out really well for me, and it's a system that's very easy to maintain. The last thing I wanna show you is that because this is Florida, I do have a lot of swimwear and cover-ups and I also have my scarves that I like to wear. I don't have them organized. It's just not a priority. It's not something that I really look at very often. So I just keep everything down here. It's just kind of stuffed in here. And I think that's one of the keys to being organized is know your priorities. If you have to keep everything tidy and pristine, then it's either not going to be a livable space or it's not going to be a system that works for your real life. So know the areas that you need to keep tidy and then leave a little bit of wiggle room. I'd say like 10% untidy and that's okay. I have one last trick up my sleeve. The way I keep a wardrobe where every piece is useful to me is by packing away my off-season clothing. I just swapped my fall and winter clothing for my spring summer clothing and here is how I pack it. I use these space saving bags that you're supposed to vacuum seal but I have my own way. It's a very graceful wrestling move but look how tiny this bag gets. Then I take all of my sealed bags and pack them in a suitcase. You can also store these under your bed so they're out of sight and out of mind until you need them again. Try this out if you want heavenly vibes when you open your closet door. 
No matter which tips and tricks you take into your own closet, remember that any system is only going to work as well as you maintain it. So closet organization isn't a one-time process on a Saturday, it's an ongoing process. The way I maintain my closet is by putting everything away after I get dressed. If I've tried on a bunch of different options, just making sure it's back in the closet where it's supposed to be. And that also is just really pleasing when you come home, you're getting undressed to just see that everything is organized. It feels peaceful and calm, and that's just a really welcoming feeling when you get home. I hope you'll use these tips to create a system that works for you, something that makes you feel really excited to enter your closet and get dressed in the mornings. If you found these tips helpful, then I recommend subscribing to my channel and I will help you to improve your personal style. If you need some more organization inspiration, then I will link that playlist here for you. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, take care.